Hi everyone, in this video I want to help you navigate through Wondershare Femora, specifically 12 beta. And this is the screen that you're going to see when you first open it up. So let's start over here with media. You have project media, global media, etc. If you click on global media, you have you could have various folders. So I already have a lot of stuff here. So you could add folders by clicking this button or delete folders. You could right click and rename folders, delete folders, or even add a new folder here. And then you have these keyboard shortcuts too. So um, for example, here's my Royal Rangers folder. Um, you could separate it however you want. Um, you could view um, list view, or you could view it like medium thumbnail, for example. Uh, you could sort it by name, duration, etc., ascending or descending, and also group by um, how whatever you want to group it by. I have it on type, for example. Um, you could import media by clicking import. You could import media files from your computer in documents or pictures or videos, etc. Import a media folder and so on. And then you could also record from a webcam, PC screen, or voiceover. And this is actually what I'm doing now. I'm recording uh, via PC and I have my microphone hooked up. So um, you could also search media in the search bar right there. And then all you have to do if, let's say this is your video clip, for example, you just drag and drop right here. And you have two main tracks. You could also add tracks right here, manage. Um, you could add a video track, audio track. Um, this means uh, video and this means audio. You could also detach the audio by right clicking and you could see where it says detach audio you could also press Control alt d and you could also click Control shift m to mute it as well and that way you could move it around for whatever reason you could also add another track here uh, just by pulling something down like a video or a picture and you can move that wherever you want you could also undo what you did by clicking the undo button or Control z um, or redo by control Y. Also with a video or audio you could press the scissors button to split it or let's say that you just wanted the audio split you highlight that by clicking it and then just pressing the scissors icon or just by hitting control B and you can move that back and forth if you want to or just delete it by pressing delete. Um, you could also uh, fade in and fade out the music so I'm just going to expand it a little bit here. You could also do that over here as well. Um, how to fade in the music. So let's say that you started it right here. Then you could fade in by clicking this and moving it. And same thing here to fade out. So this is what it would look like, uh, sound like. Okay, and Let's go over here to stock media. And uh, Filmora is amazing because it has all of these different stock footage for you to use. Um, you have Pexels, so here's Jiffy, here's Pixabay right here that you could use and Unsplash as well that you could use and download. So let's say for example you want this scene right here and then you may want another scene like this right there. You just click and drag it down and then let's say that you want it to have a smooth transition so you have a whole bunch of transitions here that you could choose from so just for an example one of several you could put the wind transition and let's see what that looks like or you could use this cinematic digital one so the possibilities are endless right here. And of course, you could use these transitions for any of your clips. Um, you could also search for specific ones if you want. And you could also put some as your favorite by, like if you look at the star right here, you could click the star and now it is under your favorites. And they also have um, all your downloaded ones as well. What you could also do is input your own audio, for example. So like if you want a Christmas theme for example you have these and obviously I'm filming this in Christmas time but it is Christmas Day 
So you could, of course, have uh, endless possibilities here too. You could also fade in and fade out the music. You could also double click on the music and adjust the audio like this as well. Uh, there's a lot of these uh, that you could choose from. You could also double click your video and then you could change the scale of it. Unlock the scale to stretch it out like that. Um, rotate, composite, and so many other things. You could also auto enhance it. You could do masks, which are basically like cropping to a specific shape. And AI tools, such as chroma key, AI portraits, smart cutouts, motion tracking stabilizations, and such, uh, which of course are uh, tutorial videos in and of itself. And also animation, such as um, vortex out, for example. And you can adjust the timing there by stretching this out. And then there's other um, legacy uh, preset motions right here. As for the speed, uh, you have uniform speed, speed ramping as well. So, so many options to choose from. You have your colors, your lights. Also, you have all of these to make adjustments as you want, for example. And then you have effects right here. So you have all of these different effects, um, audio effects and such, overlays. So for example, this is how it looks before. And you could put, let's say this for example on top. This is how it looks now. And um, you could also put this over for the entire portion of the video clip. Again, as for audio, you could just click the audio, let's say echo, for example. They also give you a little sampler if you double click it. Hit play, Hit play on, on your, your imagination. imagination. Same thing here. Hit play on your imagination. And again, there's all of these different effects, like uh, video effects, AI portraits, for example. Uh, a lot of these are paid features as well. Usually if you see a jewel, they have paid features, but you can kind of see if you hover your mouse over it, then you could see what it does. So like this one, for example. Um, there are stickers and a whole bunch of other things that you could browse. Um, overlays, for example. But again, here's where you're going to see all of your effects. Also, you could adjust this if you want. You also have a bunch of stickers, once again, and same with the effects, you could also search for specific um, effects or stickers. So this one, for example, if you want like fireworks, just put it over where you want it. Now let's say that I just want like a little bit of the fireworks, not the whole thing. I could always highlight and cut and then delete that. Another thing is, is I could fade out these uh, stickers as well. So I could just go to uh, dissolve, which is kind of my go-to. Let's see how that looks. And same thing over here too. You can make it vortex out and dissolve. And you could also adjust the start time and the duration by doing this. You could also double click on the transition and well, let's use this one for example. You could do prefix, postfix, or overlap. You could also increase or decrease the duration. Um, and then there's also titles. And again, there is, it's seeming to be like an infinite amount of titles to choose from, word art as well. Um, you could have titles that go in the beginning. You could have lower thirds. And you could just, all you have to do is just drag and just put wherever you want. So for example, you could put Merry Christmas. You could also change uh, the presets. And then you could also adjust this if you want as well by going to Advance. And then here you have all of these different uh, things to choose from. You could change the animation. And you could also customize like the fill, shadow, outline and such, as well as the font and the size. You could also add text, add shape, 
and add an image to. So that's the gist of titles. As you see, the background of the lower thirds, not the words Merry Christmas, but the background kind of bit just disappears. But you could also fix that by putting a transition. So just for an example, that way it just doesn't like disappear in a flash. It just dissolves out. I just want to show you a neat thing real quick in effects. This is chromatic aberration. Uh, you could also have VCR distortion depending on what your project is about. Uh, glitches. Again, it just depends on what your project is. And also you have templates over here too. So for example, let's drag this and this is already presetted for you. And then it just goes on again. Uh, there's a lot of templates that you could choose from. So that should help you navigate things up here, but also I want to help you with things down here. So, for example, um, this of course is delete, that would be cut. And then this is audio stretch, which is very neat. Again, that's that could be a tutorial in and of itself. But let's say for example that this is the audio that you have and your video extends to right here. Well, you could just click on the audio and then literally stretch it. And then it just uh, works its magic and the audio is literally stretched to where it sounds smooth and continuous. Here's quick split mode. Here is quick text that you could use. Um, this is also speed right here so that you could adjust the speed you can make it slow, you can make it fast, and speed ramping. Again, that's also accessed if you double click it and click speed. And here are the AI tools like Chroma Key and AI Portraits and Smart Cutouts, which of course are also accessed right here. Video AI tools, the duration of the media, uh, motion tracking, and keyframing, as well as editing here. So the AI tools again, and then speech to text right here. One other thing that I wanted to take a moment on is crop. So here's where you could crop your um, video or picture, depending. Um, you could also change the aspect ratio here and also customize it. And also pan and zoom. So like if it starts here, you could pan it to end over there. You could adjust this if necessary. Or you could also reverse it and it looks like that. You also have these features over here, uh, such as render and adding a marker, uh, depending. So like right here. You could also uh, change the color of the marker, name and comment, depending. Um, also uh, record a voiceover here and audio mixer right here. Enabling timeline snapping, uh, zoom to fit timeline right here so that makes you see the entirety of the media that you have and again you could zoom in and out here and then here's your audio meter over here for example and then you also have uh, full quality you could choose half quality or quarter quality if you want um, here you could change the aspect ratio and such for example, if you want the aspect ratio to be like 9 by 16, for example, or a 4 by 3, and the frame rate, and etc. And then the volume here, and you can make this full screen. And then just bring your mouse toward the bottom to like press play, stop, or exit full screen. Uh, this one is a snapshot, so you could take a picture of this, and it goes to whatever file that you want to send it to and it's also right here. Up here is the file where you could uh, choose to create a new project, open a project that you have, save, etc. Edit, tools, view, and help. In my experience they are great with customer service and answering questions. They also give you an option to customize the toolbar here. You have all of these uh, different and neat tools that you could uh, keep up here for easy access. You could also right click and you have all of these too to help you out. You could change the color, 
if you want and that helped me stay organized like if I had a, a big teaching update project for example um, I usually change the color and then fit everything together like a big puzzle once you're done and ready you could click export to create the video and you could also upload it directly onto YouTube or TikTok or Vimeo you could export to a device or just select clips and also burn to a DVD so again in my opinion Wondershare Filmora are amazing I've been using Wondershare Filmora for almost five years now and uh, 12 beta is new and I'm really loving it thus far and I hope that you will enjoy it as well if you would like to try Wondershare yourself, I'm leaving a link to their website in the description below and there you could download a free version and if you like it, you could purchase it.